Hi, I'm Mrs. Riso, and today in science, we're gonna be learning about bees and ultraviolet light. Do you know where we get our natural light from? If you guess the sun, that's right. The sun gives us natural light. It also contains an energy called ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light cannot be seen by us. However, it can change the way things look. It's so strong, it can also give us a sunburn. It can help plants make the food it needs. It can also help solar panels produce electricity. Ultraviolet light can change the way things look. Insects such as bees see in ultraviolet light. Some things that look normal to us may look different to them. For example, in this photo, in visible light, we see the flower, a flower looking like this. In ultraviolet light, an insect sees a flower looking like this. So for today, what we're gonna do to demonstrate this is I have this little bracelet here that has five beads on it. And as you can tell, the beads are clear. I wonder what's going to happen when I take this out into the natural light. As I'm collecting the ultraviolet light, I wonder what is going to happen to these beads. Come with me, let's go check it out. I'm gonna face it towards the sun and see what happens to the beads. Do you notice anything happening? That's right, they're changing color. They're changing color because they're absorbing the ultraviolet light from the sun. So now that we saw the beads change color after they collected sunlight, we're gonna read a story that says how and why insects visit flowers. A butterfly has landed on a flower. It is searching for nectar, a sweet liquid in the flower center. The butterfly is a yellow tiger swallowtail. Nectar is its main food. The butterfly pushes its long tongue deep into the flower to drink. Ants and bees come to flowers to get nectar too. These insects do not know it, but they help the plants that they visit. As the insects search for food, they are dusted with powdery yellow pollen. They carry grains of pollen from one flower to the next. This allows the flowers to form fruits and seeds. A flower is a bee magnet. Its scent and color attracts bees and other insects. To a bee, flowers glow with colors that you cannot see. A red flower may seem blue or purple to a bee. The flower looks different to the bee because the bee can see ultraviolet light. People cannot see this type of light. A bumblebee gathers pollen as well as nectar from its when it visits flowers. The bee collects nectar in its crop near its stomach. It collects pollen on its hind legs. Brushy hairs on each hind leg form a sort of pollen basket. When the pollen baskets are full, the bee flies back to its nest. At the nest, the bumblebee shares the nectar and pollen with other members of its colony. Bees store extra pollen and nectar in little 
wax chambers called honey pots. This stored food is very important. It will be eaten by young bees as they develop into adults. So for today, I hope you enjoyed our lesson on bees and how they see in ultraviolet light, light that we cannot see. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.